I'm Nina, Bo Nina Brown, and you are now watching the Nina Channel. <laughs>
Well, mother did say, may the best woman win. I'm Jiggly Caliente from season four, the best season ever. Ah! Okay, Jiggly Caliente. You know, I don't care for the girls who have been on All Stars before. Wait, was she on All Stars? Am I lying? I think she was before. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I don't mind seeing Jiggly. Girl, Jiggly, she cool with me. I'm cool with her. We are cool. Jiggly Caliente, girl, may I call you Jiggly? No. Um, there's your trance. One of the Trump, one of the trans representations of this season. I'm surprised she's doing this because, um, you know, the things I've heard, I thought they weren't really cool with the show anymore, but you know, you gotta go where the money is. So let's see what she does in All Stars 6. Oh, bitch, you like pop Hey everyone, it's Jan from season 12 of RuPaul's Drag Race. Did you miss me? I'm gonna skip this one. I don't see it for Miss Jan, honey. Some of y'all may know. That mayonnaise on cracker, pale, pasty skin, thin eyebrows, ho, try to come for me. With the whole, oh, what Nina said is hatefully violent. You know, I, I scared her whiteness, I'm so sorry. But um, no, I don't like her. And which is sad because I like Alexis, her friend, Michelle, you know, me cool, but I can't rock with Jen, so. I'm gonna go ahead and still say, she looks, the, the look, I'll buy the look but I'm gonna skip past this. Oh, and I, might, I meant to say, I'm gonna rent Jiggly's look as well. Now I'm girl's back and she's sweeter than before. <laughs> Baby, y'all better watch out, cause Miss hey. Wayne, come on through with. <laughs> Stop. Raja O'Hara. Girl, I don't remember the season. <laughs> but Raja O'Hara. She's one of the girls that I'm glad to see. For the mere fact that she made so many of the white girls so mad. Girl, I'm kudos to her for doing it, because bitch, the way RuPaul was coming for her at that reunion, I'm like, okay, good for you. But girl, I want her to do good and to do great. Just to make the girls mad. Please do good. Please, Roger. Do good for 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 the for the black girls who are unaccept who are unaccepted in drag race, the ones who who don't get a pass because we don't tap dance for master. Do good for the girls. The outfit goes, I'm gonna rent it. Feeling froggy. <laughs> now, what are you wearing? It's Ginger Minge from the top three of season seven to the bottom four of All Stars 2. That's right. <laughs> okay, we got Ginger Minge from Season seven, top three, and she was an All-Stars four, I believe. This is a queen that I don't care to see again. No shade, no tea. Why? You're already doing so good for yourself. You're doing great things. Like, y'all really pushing for Ginger to manage to win that bad? Like, y'all want to win that bad. Like, y'all need, I guess they have to, I guess they have to meet the quota for a plus size girl must win All-Stars. They have to. I have nothing against Ginger Minch, I don't. Talented queen, she's funny, but I don't need to see her again. <laughs> I'm sorry, give me some fresh faces, some girls who need the opportunities, the girls that need the bookings, the girl that needs to be seen again so they can get their social medias and things up. Not the girls who already have it. I'm just saying. I didn't mind, Jen I didn't mind Jiggly because she's kind of somebody who's under the radar in a way. This girl is over the radar, so. And as far as the look goes, I mean, must I tell you, I don't buy it. <laughs> I hope you like your doggy style. <laughs> <laughs> Yara Sophia. Girl, we know her history. The breakdown she had on her season during the lip sync with Alexis. The broken English. But the dedication. And she was already on another All-Star season as well. But 
But once again, unlike Ginger Minj and stuff, she's somebody who kind of also is under the radar. So I don't mind seeing her again. I don't. You know, I just really feel like there's other girls people can use on Drag Race who haven't been on All Stars at all. Um, but it's good to see her. The look goes, I'll buy it. The one thing though, I kind of wish her makeup would have changed a little bit, but um, it's Yara. She's over the top. Yes, ma'am. Season 11, I came for the lunch. All Star Six, I'm coming for the dinner. Look up, bitch, I am your winner. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, silky, nutmeg, girl. Okay, first off, first off, bitch, I'm buying the look. You look sickening. This dress is sickening. I'm buying the intro into the room. Girl, sick, she, she said, oh. <laughs> she said before she came for the lunch, now she's here for the dinner and to be the winner. So silky and, we haven't got to her yet, but Eureka and Raja, these are the girls that the fans are already saying. Stop saying fans. The gust of wind from the show. Um, who watched the show. Um, <laughs> who are already saying, ugh, them again. Ugh, they're going to be so loud. Ugh, the attitudes. Ugh. I mean, some of that might be true, but like, aren't y'all... It just sounds very... White. But, um... Yeah, I want her to do good just to make the haters mad. <laughs> Y'all know who it is. It's bitch filled with the good milk from season 11. I hate, 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 hate her confessional look. <laughs> I have a box for delivery, but I heard you only accept them in the rear. I'm Pandora Box, and I'm from RuPaul's Drag Race season two and All Stars one. <laughs> Pandora Box from Drag Race Season 2, All Stars 1. The Andy Dick and Kathy Griffin of Drag. <laughs> Another girl who I. I mean, but I mean. I will say though, seeing her does bring back nostalgia from when Drag Race was more real and fun and good. It does, it brings back like nostalgia. Don't know if she really needs it. I don't know. But I guess to the current fan base who don't know who she is, it's good. The outfit goes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy her look. You know, it's an upgrade for her. So yeah, let's see how Pandora does this season. Off to the races. Scarlet Envy back again, and I couldn't be more excited. Scarlet Envy, girl, all the girls from season 11, bitch, are here. <laughs> I hate the hat, I hate it, because it's giving me very much, oh, how you do, mister? Oh, could you go in and fetch me some water? You little Negro man, why don't you? She's gone with the wind, bitch. But I'm still gonna buy the look. I'm gonna buy it. I am. I am. I wouldn't say if Scarlet is an all-stars. And I guess you could say the same for like maybe Rajan. Like, oh, like, you don't think all-stars per se, an all-star, but um, I know the fans like her. Don't know how far she'll go. I, I don't know. I don't know, but what do you guys think? Representing Panama, it's Serena Cha Cha. Ole. Okay. Hey, Cha Serena's. It's. They are already shading Serena Cha Cha. Another girl in the comment section that people are like, ugh, everybody looks good except for Serena. Da 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 da. It's like, leave that child alone. And if you haven't heard, they, it was some drama going on with her and Akira before the whole reveal of the girls. Because I guess Serena was supposed to make Akira a wig, but the wig wasn't up to par. And Serena wasn't really budging to try to fix it or give it any kind of discounts or anything. So they are already beefing already. And Akira was like, Carrie was like, well, hmm, 
I'm not going to say much, but um, trust me, she'll get what's coming to her. So I guess we're going to have to wait until we watch the show to see what that means, which probably means she's going home early because they're already giving her the dopey edit of walking in. How they do some girls, how they did James Mansfield, that dopey edit when he walked in. And here she goes doing her whole thing. And Roger's like, okay. <laughs> they're already doing her dirty. <laughs> Poor Serena, girl, see... I don't know if you should have went on, niece. I don't know if you should have went on, niece. I don't know. But it's good to see Serena. I'm going to be Team Serena. You know what? The underdog. <laughs> Jesus, please help her. <laughs> and as far as the outfit goes, it's okay. It's okay. I'll, I'll rent it. Oh, ah! Ooh, girl. You got female. Did somebody say fish? I haven't eaten all day. Girl, Miss Sony, Kylie Sony. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. The intro was kind of a little cringy. Did somebody say female? <laughs> I'm gonna rent the outfit. It's okay. It's a bodysuit. Um, but I'm happy to see her. Sony is one of the sweetest people you can meet. She will literally give you the clothes off her back. She will. She really will. I might be working with her um, in a couple of months. If I decide to do the show, I have to get back to Nicole Page Brooks, which I'm so happy she reached out to me um, about doing a show with some of the girls. But I have to see if I'm in the right mindset for that. But um, another trans representation. Girl, she's going to have the men that's watching the show questioning themselves. <laughs> and um, I'm happy to see it. I like this kind of trans girl. I do, because she's real. She ain't trying to be nothing else. And she's down to earth and she understands all people. And still even respect me through the time people call me transphobic, because she knows better. But um, yeah, come on, Sonique. And I just hope that she brings personality, because that's my fear with her. She's a little, a little bland in the personality department. That's not a read or anything, it's not. But for TV, you know, you gotta put on a little extra. And I hope she does that this season so she can stand out and not get drowned in the background. Finally! Leave that anywhere, move on in. And I have been dreaming about the second chance. Now y'all could've edited that out, but I guess they couldn't because it happened so fast. <laughs> yeah, it's already off to a rocky start. <laughs> You know that I'm up, right? I am the lip sync assassin of season six, and I am Trinity K. Bonet. Trinity K. Bonet. The K stands for Jennifer. Girl, she said, y'all done fucked up by, by living back in this, in, in this place. Y'all done messed up. <laughs> girl, I am so glad this girl finally got on this goddamn All Stars, because she, at once upon a time ago, she was always constantly begging to be on All Stars. Hashtag All Stars. Hashtag this. Hashtag that. I mean, to the point where she, when she wasn't getting on, she started getting mad and was like, trying to like, distance herself from the show. And now she's trying to get back on the show when she got on the show. And I hope she can live up to what she's been putting out there on social media. I do. We know she can lip sync. We know that. This look, I'm gonna buy it. It's okay. It's okay, it's not the best thing, but I want to buy it. Um, this time, I like her boy confessional look. I'm so glad she got rid of that hat that had the braids glued to the hat. Um, <laughs> I am happy to see Trinity. We're still not the besties that, that we could have been, but I'm happy to see her. She wants this so bad to prove herself, to prove to people. And the thing is, though, she's already been on social media kind of, like, cursing hoes out. And I'm like, sister, girl, here you are putting yourself back in a situation where these fans can get under your skin. So I hope she's really ready for that, because I don't know if she really is. Um, and like she said in the confessional, she didn't 
she didn't expect that they were going to be crit critiquing her and it made her feel small. And that's what I told people before. Trinity in Atlanta was used to everybody kind of up her ass. I'm not lying, I'm, I'm being honest. Everybody telling her how sick she is, how good she is. And when you go somewhere different where people don't know you and they tell you things about yourself, it's like, oh, so I'm not that sick thing like I thought I was. So it needed to humble her a little bit and I'm sure she's humble now and she's ready. So let's see what Trinity K. Bonet does for All Star 6. <laughs> Eureka, you found it. Work, <laughs> again, and again, and again. Well, maybe third time's the charm. Okay, Eureka O'Hara, my season nine sister. You know what's sad? I'm not excited to see her. And it's not because I don't, it's like, I still have respect for her. Ain't nothing, we didn't, we didn't have nothing against each other. I've just seen her so much already. <laughs> it feels like she's already been on the All-Star season, but she hasn't, you know, so this is fair. It's her first time on All-Stars. Um, but you know, I've seen her, she's been, she been everywhere. She's been doing so many things, she's on HBO. Another girl who really doesn't need this, she doesn't need it, but I guess because, you know, once you get in good with a wild family and everybody knows you and you're kissing people's ass, not saying her, but just in general, they will use you for everything, I guess. So, she's going to do good, I believe. I mean, I'm going to buy her outfit. Um, she knows how to work TV. She knows what to say, what to do. Um, but I do want her to prove to people that she's not no racist person, because she's not a racist person at all. So, I hope that she does do a good job. I do. Rising from the mother tucking ashes. I don't know if I care for um, the promo that much. It's okay. It's okay. I do like that each girl got a chance to say something, though, to be heard. Um, they said that, you know, all drag race girls deserve a second chance. Do they, though? Because, I mean,. Unless they really like you or they want to make a fool out of you, then yeah, but questionable. Now we're going to move on to their promo looks. Let's see, honey, what they got. I'm going to buy a curious look. This is the wig that she had the issue with that Serena Cha Cha made. From what I see, it doesn't look bad, but from what she's shown on her live video, I mean, it's probably a, it could be a little more smoother and things, but I'm not mad at it. I don't think it's nothing that they could have lost their friendship over, you know? But, okay. Eureka's look for the promo, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I'm not, she, Eureka has worn some extravagant looks. Um, I think this is kind of like, not from what I expect from her. Um, so I'm going to just rent this look. And here we have Eureka again. <laughs> Ginger Minge. Um, another look that I'm just like, it's, I don't really care for it. I really don't. I don't care for it. Um, I'll look at it. Okay. I buy Jiggly. Jiggly looks gorgeous. Her nose, mama got her nose snatched and pinched in the little tiny diamond on the tip of the nose, little highlight. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yum, ma'am. Yum, ma'am. I buy. Yes! Body. Body. Body, 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 Yes, ma'am. Girl, what I tell you, Sonique, girl, cut your grinder off, bitch, because the men, or plenty of fish, whatever app you own, sis, the men 
are going to man for you this season. <laughs> you might end up being the first girl, M to F, tr pregnant woman out there, girl. <laughs> I buy. Pandora, I'm actually going to buy her look. I think it's cute. It is. It's cute. I'm going to buy it. I think I'm actually going to rent Roger's look. Like, it's not bad. I'm going to rent it. I don't know if I like the colors per se together. But come on, Raja, girl. Which I'm mad because now whenever I wear purple hair, girl, these people swear I'm copying Raja. It irks me so much with the fans. It's like, sisters, I've been wearing different color wigs before drag, um, before this girl was on Drag Race. But anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna rent the look. I don't care for the shape of this look. I don't. I think it's it's not I don't like it. I'm not gonna buy the look, but she does look gorgeous. The makeup is really nice. Um, okay, so the bang on her head is supposed to be like a phoenix. I don't I think it could have been done better. Um the outfit's okay. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna rent her look. Yeah, I'm gonna rent her look, um, but it's okay. I'm buying all of this. She looks just fish. <laughs> her natural hair with the root coming up, bitch. Yes, ma'am. Like, this is what RuPaul and them trying to do with, with, with their hair coming up like that, but no kind of edges. This is all realness, realness. I'm buying all of this, like, I'm buying it. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Trinity K. Bonet. I think she looks good. I guess, I guess I'm not big giant on like a bunch of tool and all that. Like it's okay. Like I'm gonna rent it though. Like it's not a bad outfit. I just not want to buy it. I'm not gonna rent it. I still respect it. She looks good. Um, I'm not. I'm not a fan of the hair color or anybody. <laughs> but um, I'm definitely going to rent this look. I'm nervous about the fans and them not understanding and never seem to remember that this is a competition. I'm glad she's saying all this. I just wanted to see what she had to say. And I'm like, see, I told you she's worried about the fans already. Like, and that's sad that the fans are so vicious that you have to really say these things and they never will get it. They never will understand these people. Oh, they just disgust me. They just not want to even just <laughs> ever set foot on that stage again. So I fear for her, but I hope, I hope, hope, hope she keeps her head up. Um, I'm not wowed, but I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it. Cause I mean, this cute. She kinda look like a rooster. That's <laughs> going on on the head. Yeah, and this should have been a uh, promo for Tina Burner, bitch, because everybody wearing this red and yellow and pink and yellow and all that. But um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll buy it. So yeah, that has been my video of what I think about the girls and their looks and all this. And I'm, like I said, I'm excited for certain girls on here. I really am. And yes, I think I'm going to like this All-Star season better than All-Stars 5 and those seasons, because I just, I like to see girls who people doubt do good and that's what I want for this season the girls who the people doubt and come for to do good and do great and I'm going to be judging the show as I always do and I'm gonna read hoes like I always do because it's what I do I read myself I read everybody it's, it's just what I do 
So if you know that you are a person who can't handle reads and you can't understand humor and you're too close-minded and you are woke and you're SJW, this channel and this review channel is not for you. You got Bussy Queen and all the other queens out there who you can go watch who will say the right thing so they don't get canceled. I'm gonna speak my mind here, so letting you know right now, just go ahead and leave and don't come back. But to everybody else, thank you guys for coming here as always. And remember, as always, sweetie, to stay beat. Stay beautiful to fuck, bro. Wait, and stay blessed. Yeah, I'm off. It's been, it, look, it's been a while. See ya. <laughs> I'm so white and confused. Where is the manager? Where is FUBU?